Hey, YouTubers in Chopperland. You know, it's funny. Uh, the last time I updated was May 30th, and it was uh, haircut day. And guess what? I went to get a haircut. I'm driving home, and I figured nice time to update. So, welcome back. Uh, where am I at? I'm 91, 92 days out. Unbelievable. Three months. Love my teeth. Eh, I love them. <laughs> Man, if I'd have had teeth like this when I was younger, I'd have picked up more chicks than you even want to know. Kidding. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, I want to talk about denture fit. I did the uh, Walgreen, uh, the Walmart DIY thing, the reliner. My dentist doesn't believe in reliners. He just doesn't. That's kind of funny, but whatever. So, you know, like everything, everything gets looser and... Uh, as you read about dentures and all that, you'll realize at some point something's got to happen. So I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been sticking a C-Bond lower wafer in my bottoms with a little fix it in, sticking it in there, and it kind of serves as like a gasket, and that's cool. And since I've been doing that, I really don't have any problems with them jumping out of my lowers anyway, any of my lower jaw. Uh, on the top, I did denture fit. Denture fit was really easy to apply. It came really quickly. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's a little pricey for what you get. I mean, it's 50 bucks for three tubes of silicone. And honestly, if it were 25, I would I would pay another treatment. I would pay to do it again and do it maybe the right way. But I did it totally as prescribed, as as in the manual. And I am a manual reader. I'm a, I live by the manual. I, uh, I usually, you know, I used to be an audiovisual engineer, audio engineer. I was the kind of guy that would buy the manual and then buy the equipment. Because the desire to do stuff while it's in your hand is too great. So anyhow, here's the thing. I did the denture fit. I cleaned them. I did the alcohol. I did whatever all those steps were. I did this, the little lines like it says. I did perfect. I put it in. And then they tell you to hold here. And you can even clamp down with your nose like I'm showing you. Well, what happened, and not in my opinion, is I clamped down and then I waited for the next, you know, waited to put it in after it was dried and all that. And it just, it wouldn't stay in. The suction wasn't there. So then I did what they call the snug up application, which is where you stick it just right in the trough, which is where your teeth used to be. And you stick in the trough there, and then you do the same thing with your hand. And then it got a lot tighter. Granted, it really did. But it was the same thing. It was kind of like, uh, it just wouldn't stick in. Like you see, you know, America's everybody's, everybody's favorite inch wearer. Uh, what's his name? Bill. Bill Holden, I think. Not Bill Holden. Bill Westland. And, uh, you know, he, he must be sponsored or whatever, or got paid for an ad. But he shows a denture fit ad where he takes an apple and <laughs> does the apple. Well, I would say it really, even the way I did it, it, it worked out better than ever as far as suction goes and keeping my teeth in. But I always did used to have, I had to use adhesive after that. So after the snug up fit, I had to do another one. And it was not on the palate. I did not do the palate again. I had to do the trough and the edges and go over the edges like they ask you to do. The edges of the denture. So I found out where my problem was in my technique and it's the whole purpose of this video today my problem in my technique I think was clamping down way too hard when I was sticking my thumb on my palate and holding it down I really held it there tight and honestly trying to control the saliva that might drip out and all that was very hard for four minutes so in my opinion thinking back about what I know as a former auto mechanic as well about valve cover gaskets and any kind of gasket material and using a silicone gasket material to help a gasket stay on and all that sort of thing what happened is that uh, I figured that I was applying way too much pressure way too much pressure on my palate I wish they'd give me another tube but I'm too cheap to spend 50 bucks another package honestly if they gave me just one tube I would be good with it uh, I did respond and, and put kind of this review on Amazon under their product because I bought it on Amazon. And I honestly got this 10 page, like, you know, long drawn out diatribe and not even a private email. It's just kind of like a defensive thing. And I'm like, I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever done this because the 
what you really want to do is hold it in there tight. Because they tell you to hold it in there tight, but I think I did it way too tight. I think just holding it up there sufficiently would create enough bond and enough clearance that you would then get the suction. It's not natural for my dentures to stay in this super squeezed up against my palate position that I was doing with my thumb holding it up. So anyway, still got the denture fit in. It's been three, four weeks. I'm too cheap to do it again. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of seeing why my dentist is like, you know what? The, the first dentures are just to get you through so we can make the real dentures. And I kind of appreciate that. He's a younger guy, and I think he's thinking, you know, people can drive themselves crazy in the first six months with dentures fitting and all this kind of stuff. And you see a lot of people on YouTube. There's one lady in particular. She must have like three sets of dentures already. Well, I've got one. These. And these are just going to have to last till six months. So, that being said on Denture Fit. One more comment I have is that uh, I've realized that Polygrip really grips, and I think it grips even harder and, I don't want to say better, but in a different fashion than Fix-It-Net, because I can tell the difference when I use Polygrip on my bottom along with the C-Bond wafer than I, when I use Fix-It-Net original. Fix it in original on the bottom. I just put it in. It keeps my dentures in. Along with the Sivon wafer on the bottom. Granted, I'm only 92 days, okay? So, but when I use the Polygrip, I don't know if the material overheats my gums or insulates more or adds more temperature, more something to the bottom. But I feel like my, my it's like I can feel the adhesive pulling on my tissues on the bottom. And it almost makes me want to grind down. And that grinding down, that bruxism or brux, bru, bruhism or whatever they call it. Uh, the city of Oaxaca is spelled O-A-X-A-C-O, but the X is pronounced J. So I don't know if it's bruxism or bruhism or bruhism. It doesn't matter. The point is, when I use polygrip on the bottom, polygrip free, it makes me want to grind my dentures like I get this like really weird thrill of pain slash it feels good to grind them it feels good I know it's bad one day I'm thinking I'm gonna crack my dentures so I stopped using the poly grip on the bottom and guess what no more desire to uh, grind my bottoms and I think that what happened is that uh, I think the material is a different material than fixing it with zinc anyway I blabbed way too much. We just moved to Anderson, Indiana from Carmel, Indiana, and everybody thinks, what are you, nuts? But honestly, we bought a really nice old 100-year-old home in Anderson, and uh, it's pretty cool. I can even show you what the street looks like. There, I'm driving. Nice, huh? So we bought one of these arts and crafts houses. I guess that's what they call them. And here's my home, the one with the white trim. And the last month has been moving and all kinds of stuff. And I got to trim the yard. I got to do all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that's my house. That's my truck. That's everything. Here's my doggy, my new doggy. Hey, guys. See me? There's Pablo. There he is. Go. And there's Roscoe. So, got to go be with my puppies. Thanks a lot. Hope I shared something new you haven't heard. Uh, pray for me. I'm still three months out. So, it's a journey. It's going to be a year of this. So anyway, talk to you later. Good luck. And if you're thinking about dentures, do it. Don't even think twice. Do you have teeth like this? If you're thinking about dentures, you probably don't. They're amazing. And talk about being clean. Some idiot was saying that they're dirty and they smell bad and everything else. Not true. Cleanest mouth I've ever had. Because every night, they get disinfected. I didn't do that with my teeth. So anyway, love you guys. Bye.